another guy adjusting to retired life, Tory Hunter. Happy <laughs> to have Tory in the booth with us. I How told you, you outside know? the clubhouse could suit up. You can go out there and play. I could, I could, but every time I walk up the stairs and my butt cheek lock up, <laughs> it locks up, man. You see, like that, that's supposed to happen. <laughs> Hey, well, you're here to honor David Ortiz, and you had him as a teammate. You had to play against him, unfortunately, too. Here's a ball nice. softly on a line to Young Ho Park, one away. You know, and when he left, it's not like he left a big void. You guys still had a lot of Type A personalities in that clubhouse, a lot of really good ball players. But but in terms of a, a teammate, how much did you miss David once he left? I, I miss him, man. And I always tried to, you know, I wanted to play with him. You know, even when I left uh, for the, that hiatus, that seven-year hiatus, <laughs> I, I actually still wanted to play with David Ortiz, and he's one of my favorite. Uh, uh, teammates of all time, you know, and I had a lot of them even in the minor leagues. He's one of my favorites and and uh, just uh, You know David had this great personality this great spirit about him and he would crack jokes in the clubhouse and Anybody and, uh, laugh? Everybody laughs. I mean <laughs> the things that you know he had that broken that Spanish English broken language, you know, and uh, and he would say some things that you know like he grabbed his feet and said my finger hurt <laughs> And so he was he was very funny man and uh, we loved him. You know he's a great teammate great great hitter fly to the gap in right center Kepler making a catch about where he caught Shaw's right. fly ball. Torrey, in the now, now Corey Koski talked a little bit about the peanut butter that you guys presented him <laughs> before the ball game. But a lot of the viewers didn't are here. They, <laughs> Tell the story about the peanut butter with David Ortiz <laughs> and Corey Koski. Well uh, David Ortiz uh, he. He actually was joking around with Corey Koski earlier that day, and uh, uh, Koski came out of the, gr the game early, like the seventh inning, and so he went upstairs and put peanut butter in uh, David Ortiz's uh, tidy whities and uh, he put a, a big chunk of Skippies in his, his underwear, and, and so David, everybody knew about the joke, so David took, takes a shower, and he goes and put his underwear on, and we was like, oh, he's going to feel it. No, he didn't. He put his pants on, his shirt, jacket, and put his shoes on. And he said, everybody, I'll see you tomorrow. So he got to the, he was, took about 10 steps, and he got to the door. And once he got to the door, he paused. And we was like, uh oh, here it comes. And he said, what? what? What you guys do to me or whatever? And then, you know, we were all on the ground laughing, and he had to go take another shower. And, uh, <laughs> and so we, I was trying to figure out why. Why do you have peanut butter in your underwear but you never felt it are you used to having something in your drawers <laughs> so and David man we he, he's upset you don't never want to make David mad because actually he got Koski the next next day and froze all his clothes like put it in the freezer and put and it was all stiff so <laughs> so Koski had to go home in his twin shorts you got to be able Ooh. to pay you take it and give it yeah <laughs> another one two three inning for Duffy and we'll have more with Tory Hunter when we come back 